All right, so if you've been on the internet lately, you know that the millennials are destroying this country, all right? One of the worst things they've done to us is they destroyed automobiles because they can't drive stick shifts, so now you can't buy an automobile with a good stick shift. So now, you know what's going to happen? They're going to destroy motorcycles. And one of the first things you can see in this happening is the kickstart. It's getting harder to find bikes that kickstarts. In fact, when I got this bike and I told my friends about it, a lot of them were like, man, that's a great bike. I'd get one if it didn't have a kickstart. I'm like, what's the problem with the kickstart? Like, I can't believe that's even a factor, much less a deal breaker. So this video is to teach millennials how to kickstart a dirt bike. So first of all, Every bike's a little bit different, has a little bit different dance, but I'm gonna go over what I do for this bike. Some of it will apply, some of it won't, but I'll give you some ideas. Second of all, your bike's gotta be tuned. Like, if you're having a hard time kickstarting your bike, it's probably because it's not tuned right. So this bike, I've already checked the valves, made sure the valves are right. I've already jetted the carb, made sure the carb is just jetted just right. So this bike is not hard to kickstart. Now I also have an XR400 at home. It's not hard to kickstart either, for the exact same reasons, and it uses the exact same routine as this one. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to do a cold kick start, and then we're going to do a hot kick start, and then we'll do a flooded kick start. So cold kick start, this bike's totally cold. It hadn't been running at all today. And uh, on this bike, it, well, any bike really, you should have to have your choke full on right here. So your choke's full on. If you can start the bike easily with the choke not full on, then it's too rich. Right? So you need to do something about that jetting. And if the bike starts, uh, starts really hard with the full, full on, then it could be too lean. So you gotta get your carbureted jetted right. And one of the ways I know whether or not my carburetor is jetted right is by how much choke I need when I start it. So this bike needs full choke to start. That's how it should be. So another thing this bike likes is uh, it likes a little bit extra idle. So we're gonna take the idle screw and we're gonna turn this idle screw out about, or turn it in actually, about two thirds of a turn. And that makes this bike a little bit happier. You could start it without doing that, but that just makes it a little bit easier. Not every bike's gonna need that. Now, if you haven't had the pedic on, then you're gonna need to kind of pump some gas around in there. Okay, this pedic has been on, so I'm not trying to kickstart it. I'm just kind of pumping some gas through, right? Now, once you've done that, you gotta find top dead center. You'll feel a little bit more resistance when you're at top dead center. If you're not finding top dead center first, you're wasting your freaking time. See? Now this bike, it'll go for just a few putts at full choke. Then it wants to be brought down to half choke. It's also a little warm, so it probably needs a little less choke since it's so warm out here today. So I'm gonna find my top dead center again. I think that's it. There, now it's on and running at half choke. Now this bike likes to have half choke for like 30 seconds to a minute. So full choke for 10 seconds. And then, you know, if you can get down there and put on half choke before it stalls out, leave it like that for 30 seconds to a minute. Now you see my idle right here. It's running a little high. This bike should be idling it at 13 by the book. I like to idle it at 14. So now that it's kind of running and warming up, I'm gonna turn my choke down a little bit and I'm gonna grab that idle screw again. And I'm gonna turn it a third of the turn back. There, now it's running at about 13. Now this bike, as it gets warmer, the idle will, will kind of crawl up a little bit. So once it gets up to say, like, I don't know, 160 degrees, It'll be idling at 1600 degrees, and I'll reach down there and I'll knock that idle screw back down to 13 or 14. But that right there, that's the cold start right there. Wasn't that hard, was it? All right, so now we're at normal operating temperature. This is the easy one. You just kick it. Gotta find top dead center first, otherwise you're wasting your time. Boom. See, I don't see what I did. Now, if you got a bad knee, I ain't harshing you. If you got a bad knee or something, then sure, get, get an electric start. But, you know, if you're a millennial, just get a damn kickstart and kick it. All right, so right now this bike's really hot. It's 273 degrees. That's above operating temperature. So, you probably need to cool it down. If I tried to kick it right now, it'd probably be a little bit cranky, or not cranky, depending on, anyways. So, this is what you do. You pull in the uh, decomp lever, which opens up the exhaust port, and put the throttle full on, give it a couple kicks, like that. That's going to dump gas into the motor and then pump it out, and pull it all off in there. And then it should be good to start. So again, you gotta find top dead center, otherwise you're wasting your time, so I'm gonna do that. Right there. No problem, how hard is that? All right, now one thing some people don't realize is you don't gotta kick it every time. You know, if, if you think ahead, you can just stop on top of a hill and then just let the clutch out halfway down the hill and it starts up and save yourself a little bit of kicking. All 
All right, so we call this the Eve Ride Start because Eve Ride's been riding the bike, so it's on the ground. And what happens is the carburetor, the bowls in the carburetor are stuck open right now, and it's just flooding out the motor. So this bike's flooded right now. So what you do, man, I can smell it. You can smell the gas. It's very flooded. So what you do, and this is the hardest one, this is the one that kind of sucks, is you pull the decomp lever, and you're gonna kick this thing like 10 or 15 times, and uh, helps if it's in neutral. You kick it 10 or 15 times, and that right there is just pumping the gas out of it. Like I said, this sucks, so try not to fall over. All right, well, let's give it a try. Now let's find top dead center, right there. Starts right up. There you go, that was the hardest one. Yeah, that's how you get a bike kick started. All right, so y'all have a good wake. Over and out, let's go hit some trails. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Those actions go a long way to helping me out and to encouraging me to make more videos. Links are in the description for how you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and other sites and apps. Y'all have a good week, over and out.